Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 3 Blind And as you saw in the little intro there, I got time trials for the first three levels here And I finally got the win in Road Crash And supposedly, I was freaking close Like freaking close So I just want to check this out because, well, so I guess this um, Gives me a new secret every time I get five time relics So let's see what this new time relic has I mean, getting 15 time relics has gotten me some... Area 51? What level is this? Is this... Is this a... No, this is it's not a motorcycle level, is it? I've had enough with you motorcycle levels. Durr. Okay, well, with that aside... So... I guess for the, for the time trial levels, I have... A, f a w level where I ski through lava... And... Motorcycles with aliens. And now, Future Frenzy. Oh, the future! This should be new. Very new, seeing that this is a new time period. Oh. So, Crash Bandicoot, we meet again. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex want me to teach you a lesson. Well, I've made a few modifications to my mechanics since our last encounter. So, back off, or be deleted. I hate you. I will never forgive you for our encounter in Crash Bandicoot 2 and whoa! This looks cool. I never, but this city background kind of reminds me of New Pork City in Mother 3. Of course I would say that, wouldn't I? Mother 3 is always on the brain now. Okay, so these boxes are like what? Um, okay. Not bad. This is a bit annoying since they're like, you know, I have to go out of my way to get them. This is a very interesting configuration of stuff. And I should destroy you. This is very interesting. I'm finally in the Cortex. N tech? What is it like? N for Dr. Cortex? Hmm. Yeah, so I can say this is interesting. Like future, future baby, future. I was about to say Futurama, but... What is that? It's a bee! Looks like one. <laughs> Uh, I just had to say that. For those who don't watch Nintendo Capri Sun, you probably won't understand. And if you do understand, you probably might find it annoying. Maybe. So, conveyor belts up the ass. That's very lovely. It's another B. Oh, stop. I swear. I mean, what the hell is that anyway? Uh, what? I did not... I didn't even touch you. Well, I guess... You know this game and its weird rules for hitboxes? It hits you! No matter what! It's arbitrary, bitch! 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 Oh, come on. Let me get that little box. <sighs> so... How are you guys today? I'm fine. It's just a warm day. Uh, yeah. Very warm day. Whee! Whoa, that was a weird voice crack there. Whee! Jeez. I mean, how how's the weather for you guys, like, temperature-wise? Are you having a real summer? Or... Oh, come on! Like, when I touched you, you weren't even threatening. Ooh! I think I'm back to where I got killed. Wait a minute. Except I've been... Have you seen all of this before? I think I have, so... Whatever, we, whatever, you can just continue on with this adventure through future... Yeah, I have been here before. At least. Okay, I think that thing killed me last time, yeah. You and your freaking weird hitbox, I swear. On my underwear. Which I am wearing right now, of course. Just to reassure you. Just to reassure you. Just to reassure you. Same as it ever was. 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 That is one of the weirdest songs I've ever heard in my life. I don't know. <laughs> It's one of the weirdest songs I've ever in life. You may ask yourself, what am I doing here? And you may ask yourself, is this my house? And you may ask yourself, ooh, side scroller. You may ask yourself, well, what, where am I? Okay, so I can't touch you. That's good to know. I swear, if I like, if I like burn through all my 17 lives, that'd be freaking sad. Thankfully, thankfully I have the glide, except the glide likes to kill Wumper Fruits. Wumper fruits and Wumba, I just realized. Okay, sure. Okay, sure, kill Aku Aku. Aku Aku can always die since he's like useless and shit. 
you know, he never helps me out anymore. I want Uga Uga to be on my team, but no. I have to have his lowly twin brother. Oh my god, lag! Lag almost screwed me a little bit. What is this noise? Okay. Um, I... I mean, I, I guess I was expected since... How else was I supposed to get up there? We're getting this one person. That's too easy. Slide. And... They're like throwing all sorts of obstacles at me. Future style. Like, just because it's the future doesn't mean I haven't seen it before. Get away, B. Can I kill you by any chance? Like, die! Yeah! Suck it! Fly into that building! Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Okay, now you can... I was uh, supposed to kill you today. I was supposed to kill you today. You too! You too! You too! You too! With or without you! With or without you! Okay. One way. Okay. I swear, if that. Maybe the TNT box can kill the bee. Nope. Hey! It worked! Yay! No, it's. Oh, okay. I slide into. Whoa! Elevator action! That's pretty cool. Oh, it's. Oh, I see. That platform alternates between good and bad. And by good and bad, I mean horizontal and vertical. In other words, I can stand at it versus I can get screwed up. I swear, the new double jumping and gliding thing are like, you know, very useful. It's a nice combo. Okay, wait for you to turn- Oh my god, I have to like, do you in succession. And that sounded... Eh, alright. I've heard worse than- Oh my god, lots of TNT boxes. What happens if I do this? Uh. You all blow up anyway, right? Just blow, 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 blow. Yeah, okay. Is there anything? Oh, that's a chance and bonus time. Okay, so there's no, nothing hidden here, so let's just go to the bonus time. It's time for bonus, yay! And there's a checkpoint up there, assuming that I don't die! Oh. Oh! Okay, fine, yes, I get it, double jump. Like, I was kind of, like, looking... I was kind of, like, you know, starting to listen to the music, which was, like, futuristic and... It had a pretty strong beginning, but then it got all beepy and stuff. Can he please, um, I don't know, not die at the first jump? Thank you very much. Jeez. <sighs> Maybe you can, like, try to do double jump. Or you, better, you can just survive. Thank you. Is that so much to ask for? Jeez, Louise, what is that? This is the enemy's bioweapon? Peppy, is, Peppy does not sound like that. Gee, that's pretty obvious. Double jump and spin. Or do the spin. Oh! Well, I got it anyway. I thought I was going to screw ups for sure. Okay, this is a little weird. Are you serious? That's a pretty tricky jump. No! Well, I guess that's that. So here's a pretty stupid story. Um, so I guess about three weeks ago, I parked in a parking garage because, you know, my friends and I were going to this restaurant, and I guess normally we, sometimes we go to this restaurant on Sundays when the parking garage is free, but we went on a Saturday, so um, we had to, like, pay for our parking. So, you know, I, you know, took... I took note of my parking space number and then, you know, paid for the ticket. And I don't think I put the receipt in... Oh, come on! So I don't think I put the receipt on the dashboard, but I think that the parking garage was okay with, you know, the receipt not having to be in the dashboard, I think. But, I mean, there's nothing explicit saying that he had to, had to do it. Although people, people said that, you know, for that parking garage, it's a new law starting... Like, the week after, you know, I parked there in the story. But the thing is, I got a parking citation anyway. They say that, you know... Here's the gay thing. Two minutes after I paid for my ticket, I got my parking citation. You know, yeah. Like, before I could even... So, I had, you know, a strong reason to believe that, you know, I didn't have to pay for... You know, that. Uh, that I didn't have to pay for the ticket, so... I sent in, like, you know, I guess a letter, you know, saying that, you know, I shouldn't deserve this, and I gave them evidence. 
it's, you know, obviously my evidence was my receipt, which I still, you know, had. And I mailed it with them, along with the citation that they gave me while I was close. But the thing was, um, so, the thing is, there's a late fee and, um, there's an early, there's a normal fee, which is like, what, $35, $38 versus $88. Okay, whoa, whoa, that's cool, nice. So there's like, you know, um, the late fee, which is like $88, you know, versus like $38. But, oh, I mean, you have to pay the late fee if you don't pay the early fee in, um, 21 days. But, you know, I sent them my letter, you know, contesting my parking citation. And they say, you know, if you don't receive any, if you, if you don't receive a response to, um, your parking, you know, your con your little protest, your contest, I guess your little contest against the parking citation, then you have to, like, you know, notify, I guess the, uh, oh, come on. I have to go back all the way there, too, don't I? Uh, but yeah, like, if you don't get a response, you have to, like, you know, call them and, you know, ask for the results. You know, within 21 days of... Oh, come on! So, like, today is the 21st day after... Um, I got my parking citation. So, I didn't get a response. I mean, I guess on my fault, I kind of... Oh, come on! So, I guess on my part, I... Was a little... Like, I guess around a week after I got my citation, I... Um... You know, sent him my letter with the evidence because I kind of had the, I kind of wanted to look around the internet before, you know, taking action because you know it's pretty new to me. So yeah, so I tried calling them and they said their office was open only on Mondays to Thursdays, like not today. So even though twenty today is the twenty first day, um, I had I received no responses from them. So I don't know what to do. Is the system just made to screw me or something? Because I wouldn't be surprised. Or, I mean, I admit there were some mistakes on my part, like not sending in the letter immediately, maybe, or maybe, um, um, not putting the dashboard. What? There were more boxes? Well, screw that noise! Jeez! Is it like a hidden route or something? Because that's not pleasing at all. There has to be a hid there has to be a hidden route. Where else can I find like what forty boxes or something, huh? Whatever. Well, there's no box gym, but now I think I'll visit Dynamite because, like I said before, I kind of think that at this point, each level will have one video ded dedicated to it, and yeah. So I think that's what'll happen. But um, I do want to check out Dynamite because there's the yellow gem route, and. This is kind of recorded the day after I recorded the um, previous two videos, so chances are I haven't read any of your comments on those two videos. So if you left me anything useful, you know, helpful on those two videos, sorry, but I'm going to have to read them, you know, after these videos are. I mean, by the time this is recorded, I won't. By the time I read those comments that are very helpful, it'll be like, you know, too late. And yeah. But I will, you know, address those, you know, hints you give me, assuming that there are hints, in the next video, of course. That's how it works, baby. Alright, I'll meet you back at the Yellow Gem, or at the Yellow Gem. You should know where it is, you know, by now. Okay, so this is the Yellow Gem after the first checkpoint, and, yeah. Before the dinosaurs and, I mean, before Yoshi. So, I don't know what to expect here. Oh, I'm not- Okay, so, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be chased by dinosaurs, yet. Cause that's kind of what I'm very afraid of, being chased by dinosaurs AGAIN! Like, this game just loves making me be chased by dinosaurs. I mean, I guess it makes sense that I have to like, look at crates, I mean break crates, since you know, this is I guess essential for me to get the box count. The box gem, whatever. Those are pretty in INTERCHANGEABLE! You don't understand what I just said at all. Oh my god, the lava is melting the um, emulator. Uh! Okay, that is very unpleasant. Screw you, Crashfish. 
you are so freaking annoying when you spin me and when I try to spin you. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. I like the original version more than the remix of That's Gay and Party Slutty. I don't know. <coughs> Sorry. I think I made. I think I made. Might edit that sneeze out. Jeez, Slops. Stop slowing down, emulator. Yes, I was just about. To, I was just about to say, slop slowing down, emulator. Or if I extend it further, slop slowing down, emutator. Emutator. That's just retard. Retardando. Retardando. Oh come. Oh come. Oh come. Like some sort of Christmas song. Oh come, you children. Stuff. Okay, so I am back. Yay. Stuff. Body slam. For once I want to do body slam, bitch. Bitch. Crash Bandicoot, the bitch. Crash bitch cute. Jeez. There's so many boxes I must ground pound. I mean, body slam. Okay, now I'm gonna get chased by a dinosaur. Oh my god! Lava pit. Lava pit. Okay, bring it on, dinosaur. Bring it on, dinosaur. Ooh, checkpoint. Which means dinosaur time! No! Wow, that was fast. That was pitifully fast. That was so fast. Okay, stop laughing at me. Nobody likes your face. As I like to say to a certain polar bit. Really? I had to... I dodged the first nitro box that I just flew into. And then fly into another one. What's next? Am I going to fly into this, this third nitro box or something? Watch, watch. Oh! Love a hood. Um... Pterodactyls. Uh, uh. Oh, I thought I made that. I thought I made that. I thought I made that. Legitimately. Play. Play. Uh. He's chase. How many chase sequences are there in this game? I just realized. Like, there's four. That's too many. Have some more variety in your games. Naughty dog! Like, seriously! Oh. You are a freaking retard, Crash. That's that's very inappropriate for me to say, but I'm serious. I'm Syria. I'm Syria! Uh, how did I dodge that? How did I dodge that? Just go, just go. Don't. I mean, think, but at the same time. Be careful! Oh my god, the lag screwed me! Like seriously, I was like telling him to like jump or spin or something, but no, he's like, no. I can't respond to your controls because I'm gonna troll you with lag! Yay, emulator! I'm so glad you're cooperating with me! Uh, uh, uh. How did I make that? I don't know. Okay, I think I made it farther than I... Ah, shit. Okay, now let's go. Oh my god! Nitro box! I want to cry. Can you please hug me? No? Fine. Yeah. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm okay, 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 okay. I was at the end. Of course, I have to get screwed over when I'm at the very end of the level. It always happens to me. <sighs> always happens to me. So I think I'm done with the yellow gem nonsense, so screw that noise. Now I have to backtrack, don't I? Swell. Oh, by the way, this is these are the boxes that I couldn't get before, but I can just do the body slam and their impact will destroy them. What? Deep impact? You got me for just like the last two years in a row! I know! Since you liked it so much, I decided to get it for you again! Oh man! This is the this is the best December win ever! Okay, 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 okay. Dynamite is done. Dynamite is done, thank god. I swear. There are way too many dinosaur chases in this goddamn game! Way too many! Way. Too. Many! Ooh. Like I swear, Crash Bandicoot 2 had a decent amount of rock slash polar bear chase levels. Did it? Actually, I'm not sure. 
How many chase levels did Crash Bandicoot 2 have? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. Uh, all I want to know is I'm gonna save. And that is that. In, in the next video, I'll take on level 20, I think. And... Or maybe take on some more secrets that I missed, or stuff. Like, uh, you know, there's like one box gem. I mean, there's like one um, box that I apparently is missing in um, Tell No Tales, for example. Like, what happened to you? What happened to you, man? Also, the 40-ish boxes here in Future Frenzy have just disappeared. Wow, that's a long time trail. Whatever, just bye.